All right, guys, we're gonna do a little test today. Uh, we're gonna see which works better, uh, fresh or frozen bait. Now, obviously, everybody's gonna say that, you know, fresh is better, and I agree, I'm gonna take fresh over frozen any day. But what we're gonna do is take a frozen crappie, which is a premier bait here in this area. We're gonna put it against some fresh caught, caught bluegill. I'm gonna split them up uh, here. I'll be able to easily tell. I'm dragging uh, some baits out here. Uh, it's a glass calm day. It's gonna be about 96 degrees today. We're in the middle of the spawn. So this is gonna be a real good test as to one, can we catch fish with either of them? And two, which one's gonna produce the most? So the setup is I'm dragging six rods, all Santee rigs, uh, Big Cat Fever, uh, medium action uh, rods. So they're uh, white ones and uh 30 pound andy monster line and i've got a mix of reels here i've got abu garcia 6500s some ancient mariners and some loos uh, i think they're l60s uh all bait case all bait casters all in that 6500 series everything's on sand rigs most of them have small hooks on i say small smaller compared to what i normally run about a six alt hook smaller baits uh thumb size pieces outside of the brim head so we're gonna see which works better uh, like I said, we can use crappie in North Carolina for bait, as long as it's caught legally, so that's what I'm fishing at. Uh, and it's usually a premier bait, so I'm going to see how it stacks up side by side. Uh, it's frozen, the crappie was, and uh, I'm going to see how it stacks up side by side with some fresh bluegill that I just caught this morning. Uh, it is the spawn. This is the time when the bite slows down. This is the time when fishing is not good. So uh, if we catch fish, we're doing good. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see how the bait stack up and perform. All right, guys, we finally got us a taker here. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I do not know which bait this is on. Not a big fish. I'm not gonna horse this fish in. Looks like he's up toward the top. Like I said, I don't know which bait he took. So this is almost like a uh, little uh, Christmas present. We'll see which bait's on there. Small fish. Coming at the boat now. It's thrashing around like a channel cat. Drifted a pretty good ways here, probably 45 minutes. And like I said, I had one other small bite. Pulling a little bit. Let me get around my camera rod there. Let's see if we can get him up here. Nursing him in. I call this walleye fishing. This is what them guys I see walleye fishing do. They kind of nurse them in. Let's see what we got here. Oh, ho, ho. it is a channel cat. And guess what? Pow, he popped loose. Channel cat. But guess what it hit? Guess what it hit? Look at there. Pieces of frozen bait. One fish, and it took frozen. Like I've said before, one fish don't make a test. So let's see if we can get some more. Just for giggles, the other rod that I got hit on was this one. Never hooked up, went over. It's a good bite, I could tell it was a bite. I never hooked up. I just wanna see what kind of bait it is. Okay, that was a bluegill head. There we go. But we've caught one on frozen, got hit on the one. We're only counting the caught fish, though. Looks like one on this rod. I think that's, yep. That is the rod we just put back out. That is the one that had the crappie on it. Nurse it in, nurse it, nurse it. Feels a little heavier. My money's on a blue. My money's on a blue. Yep, I can see it. He's on top of the water back there. It's a blue. It's a blue. Got another rod going right here. Unless he's in that line. He could be in that line. That one's twisted and turning. Man, I got a couple rods getting hit here. I don't think he's in that line. Let me get this underneath this. It's a pretty decent little fish. Female. Not surprising. There it is.
Roll that sucker out. Good looking blue cat. Good healthy female. Belly's not pooched. She may have dropped eggs already. Get her back alive. That one came on a piece of that crappy. Frozen. Put it back in order. All right, I think we got what's thrashing around like a channel cat. Nurse it in. See if I can lay eyes on it. Getting bit. Catching the fish now. Same as size to them. There goes a planer board. That's a bigger fish over there. See that planer board over there? That's a planer board rod. Hopefully that stays butt until we get an assessment on this one. That is a channel cat. Small female. I think it's hooked good enough to make it in the boat. Boom! Made it in the boat and into the bilge. Let me fetch it. Yeah. Nice little channel cat. Let's see what the bait was. Oh, ho ho! Frozen bait. Three to one. Let's see what's on the planer board. Planer going. Boom, pop the clip. These are the uh, bigger bladed Sooner Special Boards. Finishing out my trial on those seem to be working great. Into my other line though. Get that board off will greatly help. That would be a negative. Decent blue. That right there is why I prefer to clip those things loose. Dang, got it. Dang, the bait's pulled off of this one. bait pulled off of this one it's a nice blue i might have to go back and look when we pull stuff in here we had three and three i'm getting ready to pull in anyway so we'll know here good looking fish get back alive the brim that was the brim head so anyway that one was on frozen too so here we go i had to do a little math here on what we had but yeah that last fish came on frozen wow crazy all right, guys, I'm rolling back over. We're going to reset on this drift here, come back parallel to where I just came through, but kind of the same area. Uh, I'm kind of shocked. Uh, I mean, I, I'm one of those people that I've used a frozen bait a lot and caught fish with it, but kind of shocked that out of five fish, only one is coming on the fresh bait. Now, is it because it's crappie and they want to hit it no matter what? Is it because it's the fish that are hitting? Who knows? But uh, so far, it's pretty interesting on what the results are. Folks, I'll go ahead and say this too. That drift took about an hour. Uh, put five fish in the boat. That's not a horrible bite. Granted, we're not catching big fish. I don't expect to catch big fish. But it's not a bad catch rate. Five fish an hour this time of the year, even though they're small leader sized fish, it's still pretty good. So I'll take it. We're going to make another drag. I'm coming through here kind of drifting parallel to where I was at, probably about 200 yards away, hopefully finding some different fish. See how many more we can put on the boat and get a little more diversity here in our information. Uh, I'm shocked right now, but you know what I say about tests. It takes a lot of fish. It's not just one trip, one, uh, one drag, one fish, but so far, that frozen bait's working pretty good. Boom, I think I got one on here. Just had a fish smash the planer board, and I thought, man, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. And uh, popped loose. So, doing a little wrangling there with the boat. Uh, 
So I got another one just now on the rod right beside it, smaller fish. Let's see which bait it is. I know which bait it is. We've got them all on one side of the boat. Just to uh, make guessing which one is which easier. Ooh, little bitty channel cat, barely hooked. He's whisker hooked. We're gonna do a quick release. Bam. But the one that got smashed and this one, both of them on the frozen bait. Got a rod going. Guess what? This one's on the bluegill side of the boat. I decided to put the same baits on the same side of the boat just to uh, avoid any mix up should some baits get pulled off like we had on the last drift so this is the bluegill side we got one on it that's the frozen bait side feels like it may be a small blue i don't feel a whole lot of thrashing and i was wrong it's a channel cat One of the things I like about the Catch the Fever medium action rods is it's a lot more fun catching these smaller fish on these rods than it is the heavier ones. Not exactly what we want to catch, but for the test, it's working. All right, guys, got one going on this one. This is on the bluegill side of the boat, fresh bait. Thought I was gonna have one on that side earlier didn't stay hooked up the uh, interesting thing is most of these fish have come adjacent to the river channel I uh, made a big drift across the flat not really picking off any fish I get over here near the river channel it's where they're at at least in this part of the uh, lake so and you know that's the way it goes different different times different days come on calm down don't flip off of there little channel cat He's hooked good enough to make it. Bam. On the bluegill, number three. Fish number eight. Third one on the fresh bait. Wow, there you go, folks. Eight catfish and only three of them came on fresh bait. The rest of them came on the frozen crappie. Now, is that the bait? Do they prefer the crappie that much over fresh? I don't know. Uh, I'll let you be the judge of that, but it's interesting to say the least. Uh, the old frozen bait will catch fish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're gonna like.